ser humano Ser humano Ser humano Let's get to you back in the vlogs. Today was such a weird day. Let me start off with what is going on. So I left Trinidad in Miami. I am getting ready to go to school. Finally pursue my passion, film. So I'm excited for that. It was a bit of a rush today because when I reached the airport in Piaco, I was told off by one of the security guards that, you know, I cannot film here and whatnot and whatnot. What it was basically is that I cannot film where the security area was but that wasn't even in the shot or anything but you know how some um, security guys are anyway so that was the first thing so i ended up deleting that footage so i didn't have any footage of me you know leaving trinidad at the beginning at the airport checking and whatnot it's really strange to see everything closed up in the airport no royal castle no doubles nothing like that the process was rather smooth i would say um covid protocols were followed i know at some points people were close you know it, it it's bound to happen. The flight to Guyana was rather smooth. It was, I think we reached a little bit early. I'm not sure. But it was good. I didn't have any problems there. I didn't have any problems in Guyana. You know, they checked COVID tests. Negative, of course. You check in. I checked in with American Airlines. So I went from Trinidad to Guyana, Guyana to Miami. And then from Miami to Orlando tomorrow. Because coming from Trinidad to here, time was a bit too close to the flight. And we didn't want to, you know, book it. And then I end up missing the flight. And then we have to pay for that as well. So to avoid that, you know, just overnight to Miami. I know a lot of you guys are gonna have questions as to you know what was it like traveling during COVID to Miami today? I would say it was not that bad. I mean, yes, the plane was full, business class was full on American Airlines. In economy, people were spaced out a little bit more. I didn't notice much people in economy, but there was quite a few. You know, it wasn't full to the max as how economy is normally filled. Miami, 
International Airport when I arrived, there were a ton of people in the terminals. Now, I was, so it seems like things are getting back to some form of normal here. But, you know, vaccination rolled out is much faster here. That's one thing. I felt comfortable. You know, I did what I have to do. I sanitized when I came into the hotel. I sanitized the counters. I have my wipes here. So I just do my stuff at the same time, not just, you know, forget about COVID on a whole. We don't want to get COVID. Overall, it was a great experience. Just wear your masks and just, you know, wipe down your surfaces and be careful where you're touching and whatnot. And you, you should be fine. One thing, came into the hotel room, but I didn't give you guys a room tour. So, room tour. <laughs> nice hotel I'm comfortable I'm actually gonna go shower and get ready let me shower and get ready shower and go and take a rest because I have to get up around 8 half 8 tomorrow and get ready to be able to get on my flight which is boarding at around 1 and I reach in Orlando I think 3 minutes to 3 o'clock so another fairly long day tomorrow of traveling but way shorter than today with that I'll catch you guys in the morning day two let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream and you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure you could see. And after several nights, you would say, well, that was pretty great. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. Well, something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. Then you would get more and more adventurous and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. And finally, you would dream. So all packed and ready to go. So now we head off to Orlando. So we're in my international now. I just got through security. Flight um, leaves at around 144 um, and it's gate 38. I'm currently at the 26. So making my way there and probably get something to eat as well because I have not eaten any breakfast because I was a bit um, too lazy to say go down, put on clothes and go downstairs in the lobby at the hotel. So no one I'll get someone to come to the airport. So let me just find the gate first and then I'll go get something to eat. One thing I enjoy about being back in the US so far is being able to vlog freely and not look as if I'm being judged because I don't think people have gotten used to that in Trinidad as yet. People watch you in a funny way like, um, what are you really doing? Across here, it's pretty much normal, everybody's just going about their business. You might watch and wonder what you're really doing. The majority of the people don't really care, so I'm happy about that. Walking a freaking cat, bro. What are you doing? I think I got myself a big sandwich up there. Thank you, Bobby. Bro, this man is a full of that family of what you mean. Like, let's see what. Really bad. Hey, there's people inside there. I don't know if they work at long shift or something, but he's still just going from. Okay, it's a bad by the time I leave there. I had to stand up for 10 minutes now. I ask him what's going on with my sandwich. All of them talk in Spanish and just brush it off like nothing. I didn't even bother to really acknowledge. And then so the lady who had, had cashed me out eventually came back and saw her stand there. She went and checked it up and gave it to me. But I tried to find out what's going on with my sandwich and none of them can answer me. I didn't do it alone. Check out what the nah, that ain't it. Say hi to the vlog.
my, my aunt. So I don't even I don't even know which baggage claim I'm supposed to go into because all it told me was baggage claim 25. It didn't even give me either A or B. So now I have to figure out which baggage claim it is. Oh okay now I see the numbers. Okay it's baggage claim B up there. Baggage claim B. Okay, so she says she's in front of Hyatt Regency in the middle of the airport. So I have to find where Hyatt is. Where is Hyatt? Hi, Hyatt, excuse me. Where is Hyatt looking at? Hyatt. Sorry? The Hyatt Regency. Right there. It's right down on the other Alrighty, thank you. Yep. So a few hours later after eating some sushi, probably an hour nap and just relaxing watching Formula 1 Drive to Survive on Netflix. I'm out here with <laughs> this one, walking the dog and I brought the ripstick. We touched down in Orlando, school starts May 31st on campus so I have some time to kill. Now it's to find an apartment, get phone organized, to be able to make calls and a few other... Oh God! Kelly broke up my tail! Shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo. So yeah, good to be back. Good to be back. Say hi. Hey. Good to be back. I don't know, you do you. With your rock star here. She changed her appearance from the last vlog. She she blew up from the last vlog. Watch her big TikTok dancing probably too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mochi. The real star. Watch at her. Oh no. 